Well, my name is Kent Bradford. My work is involved in seed biology, seed production, and related to improving crop uh, varieties for production in agriculture. It is true that seeds are little miracles. That's, very, that's certainly true. This is a, a wild tomato species. In a very real sense, uh, seeds are critical to our future. That is a large fraction, not all of our agriculture, but a very large fraction of our agriculture depends upon being able to reproduce seeds annually. Wow, this is nice. Seeds that are used by farmers to grow crops have to be produced every year, uh, or at most uh, every other year, to provide good quality seed. And efficient agriculture requires uh, uniform crops that uh, germinate quickly and establish quickly and grow rapidly. We need to be improving crops because the environment, the pests, the markets and so on are changing all the time. For example, uh, size of watermelons has shrunk recently from large uh, watermelons that used to be the case to the small personal watermelon and that's all done by developing new varieties that uh, appeal to consumers. We have so many new tools now that we didn't have in, in previous years. In the last 20 years, certainly, uh, our ability to understand the basis of traits that we want has improved enormously. It's as if uh, it's a uh, GPS for breeders. I think if uh, someone is looking for a career in plant science, this area of uh, plant breeding and seeds is a great place to be. It's, it's really uh, the intersection between the technology and the practical aspect. Uh, it's in a way, a way to think about seeds in agriculture these days is, in a sense, they're the microchip. They're the, they're the heart. You plant a seed and that carries all of the, the traits, all the effort that the breeders have put together. The more that we can do that, the less we have to then add later, the less fertilizer we have to add later, the less pesticide we have to use to control diseases. The ability to now feed six and a half billion people is largely due to plant breeding. Clearly, as we go toward nine billion people, in the next 30 years, uh, we're gonna need to double food production again, and we simply can't do that without improved varieties.